Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing episode six of Wreck This Journal. It has been quite a while since I've done a Wreck This Journal video and a Create This Book video. With all the craziness that happened with Instant Influencer, my upload schedule got a little bit weird. Um, I want to lower your expectations right now. Meep. Aww. It was Thanksgiving week this week. I had no time whatsoever, so I had to use one of my backup videos. This is the backup scenario that you are viewing. The backups tend to be not as good as the actual things that were intended to be videos. This is called wreck this journal. This is not necessarily going to look good. It's more about the journey of wrecking. I mean, I don't really destroy the book in this series. I'm not like going outside and like ripping things up, but I do wreck it with paint and colored pencils. All right, I think I've given you enough warning about this episode. Let's just get started. Okay, so here is my wreck this journal and I'm flipping to the page that says, make a mess and clean it up. First things first, let's take out our pink paint and squirt that all over the page as messy as possible really rub it around there. I eventually did totally cover this page in pink, but I did make the process quite messy. You'll notice this paint is very bright. It's actually my neon craft smart paint. Trying to remove this sticker. I'm taking out something that is quite random. I saw this in the store and immediately bought it, even though I had no purpose for it. I just love googly eyes. I love the sound that they make. I'll stop. I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm going to be creating some characters using these googly eyes. Wouldn't it be so fun to make a drawing with the eyes moving? On the left side, I've put my eyes, the googly, googly eyes. The eyes are looking in all different directions. They might even be quite messy. And then on the right side, the eyes are very evenly lined up in rows. Taking out my Artistro paint pens and we are creating just fur balls. Okay, so this page is gonna take some explaining. My sister is a teacher, so this is something that's like really present on my mind. But the first thing I thought of when I read this prompt, make a mess, clean it up, was actually kids at recess when like they're having just a blast and everything is everywhere. You have one person tripping, someone hurt their finger, someone hit their head. <laughs> and then the teacher is like, everyone get in a line, clean up time. And then you have the kids on the right just like standing there like they're in trouble. It's definitely abstract because these are just like fur balls. And even though this is definitely not my best piece of work, it only took 20 minutes. I had so much fun creating this page. I love the googly eyes and I had a lot of fun just coming up with the expressions of these characters and their placement on the page. As I've said before, especially with prompt journals like Wreck This Journal, it's really important that you have fun while you're creating the page. It's like, what's the point of even doing it if you're not having fun? Not every piece of art has to be this beautiful masterpiece. Not everything has to be the best thing you've ever created. As long as you have fun making it, that's the whole point. Look at their little faces, look at the eyes moving around. I can't, I, I just love this page. And here is what the final page turned out looking like. I know that this is not my best work, but you know what? Sometimes your funnest work is actually the best one in your heart. And that's, that's how it feels to me. I hope you guys like this page as much as I do. I know it's obviously not like, this like crazy masterpiece, but it was fun to make. Just a reminder, today is one of the last days you can use my code BELLA10 to get 10% off of my Teespring store. The sale lasts until the end of Cyber Monday, so be sure to check it out. Moving on to the next page, we have draw lines using abnormal writing utensils. Six spoons, twist ties, combs. I went with plastic utensils because the prompt said writing utensils. So I went with actual utensils. Taking out my neon craft smart paints. I don't know if this was supposed to be a transition. Very unclear, I'm too tired to figure it out. Adding some printer paper behind these pages because I am preparing to add a lot of paint 
to these prompt journal pages. They really should not have this much paint, but this is what I decided to do. The art for this page went in so many directions that it's gonna be a real journey. Me explaining my thought process here, it's a real wreck. The prompt says to draw lines. And initially I saw the ribbing in this knife with the lines it was drawing. And I was like, okay, that kind of fits the prompt because the knife is making lines, you know? It's subtle, but there, there are lines in there. As I started to create these very abstract lines, I was feeling like it was becoming so messy and I just didn't like the way it looked. But honestly, looking back at it, I feel like I should have just left it like this. There are lines, it's an abstract painting, but I felt it was boring. <sighs> Total snooze fest, I just didn't like it. So I was thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, and then I was like, aha, let me, let me add some things to the bottom of this prompt and I know what I'm gonna do. I need more paint. It's truly painful to watch. I felt like I had already fulfilled the draw lines part of the prompt because there were lines all over the background from the knife. So at that point, I decided, let me focus more on the abnormal writing utensils. Let's use them all. I'm gonna use the fork and the spoon and create some flowers on top of the lines. This idea quickly went south. I mean, honestly, it just looks really bad, and I knew that in the moment. But also, I decided to embrace the idea of wrecking the journal. Something I really appreciate about you guys is that you let me post videos where I show my whole art process, and sometimes I create things that I don't necessarily like, but I had fun making. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a lot of paint that I'm removing. But yeah, Wreck This Journal is one of the few types of videos on my channel that I don't really have to take the art so seriously. And a lot of that has to do with you guys. I really appreciate that you guys have really embraced the idea of wrecking the journal and creating art that looks bad, but was fun to make. This is so much paint. It just was becoming really a wreck. I attempted to dry that off before adding even more paint. I still can't even believe it watching it back. I added more paint for the leaves. So crazy. No one should add this much paint to a piece of paper. This is just not reasonable. Because I felt like the lines were then covered up, I decided to add even more lines around it with my paint pens. I also felt like for some reason I didn't have enough lines, so I crossed out draw lines and instead wrote paint using abnormal painting utensils. But you know what? I disagree with my past self. I did fulfill the prompt because there were a lot of lines with those knives in the background. I mean, the thing is all lines. This page is probably my messiest page in Wreck This Journal. There is just so much paint. I did use abnormal writing utensils. It's actually very hard to create a good painting with plastic utensils, believe it or not. So I don't know, this is the best I could do with that. Up next, we're turning to a page that was actually already started by my sister Alina. Trace your hand. And the hand there is actually my sister's. I guess we have the same hand size. I gave this to Alina for her 16th birthday and she never completed it. I'm taking out my fine liner pens. I really like these because there are so many colors. If I had started this page myself, I probably would have outlined my left hand because I'm a righty, but my sister Alina is a lefty. So she outlined her right hand, which made me have to draw with my left hand initially, which is why this outline is so messy. Instead of covering up what Alina had already done, I decided to embrace her previous work and work around it. So I outlined lines the hand in rainbow colors. After that was done, I also took out my Artistro paint pens, get out of the box, and this bottle of gold paint. This is my second time using this paint and I thought I'd give it another try. I gotta say, for metallic paint, this is definitely more dull than I was expecting. It's just not very shiny. And this was like a five or $6 jar of gold paint. 
And I don't know, I guess it's just not my favorite. I'll have to find another metallic paint, I guess. After finishing up the gold hand, it was time to focus on the outside. I wanted to make some of the lines thicker than other lines. I also wanted to create some variation. So some of the lines actually ended up being polka dot lines. I honestly really like the polka dots. I don't know what it is about that, but that really brings it together for me. Lastly, I used my white pen to create like, I guess this is kind of like a henna. I was kind of going for that, but I was also just trying to fill the space with a pattern. The plain gold hand was just not doing it for me. I felt like it needed a pattern there, and that is why I added these lines. I'm pretty happy with this one. Honestly, it was fun to make. I realized that all three of the pages that I've done in this episode are not like elaborate masterpieces, but I still had a lot of fun making these pages, and I hope you enjoyed the journey of wrecking. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey.